the installation video. Hello I am going to show you how to install the backup camera. First, get out of all items from the package. There monitor, backup camera, power cord and 23.5 feet 4 pin wire, T taps, splice adapter, cigarette lighter adapter, mount and 3M stickers. I put some items aside. First, I install the mount into the monitor. Look, the bracket is flexible. Notice my operation. The suction cup fits into the mount. Here, you can adjust the screw. Stick a sticker to the bottom of the bracket. The suction cup is on the monitor. We can adjust the monitor's angle. Now, tear off the sheet, fix the monitor. Then, I am preparing to install the camera. The camera is flexible. I can move it up and down. I take out the 3M sticker. Tear off the sheet. Stick it on the camera bracket. Look at my operation like this. I take a piece of cardboard as a license plate. Then we stick the camera into the middle position behind the license plate. We can see the camera's angle is also flexible. I should use the clamp to tighten the camera. Tighten the screw of one side. Take out the 23.5 feet 4 pin wire. Then, we will connect the wires. Look at these four pin connectors. Two ways. First way powered by the cigarette lighter to use the adapter on off for continuous driving use. Now I connect the black four pin connector near the power cord into the monitor. Notice the mark. Then I connect the black 4-pin connector into the camera. I take out the cigarette lighter. Plug off the green connector. Plug the red connector into the cigarette lighter. Connect the power. Press the red button. Here, we can test the light with your hand like me. You see the red light or not? 
When it is read, the monitor appears image. We can test the camera's lights with your hand like me. The camera's lights are lightening. Fine, everything is okay. Now, we can move the camera to test the image of the monitor. Then let us see how to adjust the button at the back of the monitor. The middle button is menu key. Press it, you can see the brightness on the monitor. Here, you can press the plus button. It can adjust the brightness. Press the menu again, you can adjust the brightness, contrast, color, hue, zoom, and language through the plus button. Press the menu button again, and you can see the guidelines on. Press the plus button to appear the guidelines on. The lines appear. Then press the button to appear the guidelines off. The lines disappear. Two ways. Second way powered by the reversing light to only work in reversing. We take down the connectors from the monitor, camera and the cigarette lighter. Now I connect the black 4-pin connector into the monitor. Then I connect the black 4-pin connector near the power cord into the camera. Take out of the power cord. Plug the black connector into the red power cord. In this way, I connect the thin red wire to reversing light, black wire to ground. So when all are connected, the monitor are lightening. Finally we test the function of the green wire. I use the scissors to cut the green wire. Reset the power. The image in the camera can turn into a normal facing image. But when I connect the green wire again, in the process we can use some tool like me. Reset the power again. The image of the camera can return the rear view or the reversing camera. Ok, we finished the whole installation. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. 
key taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. Camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom. Thank you for your watching. 